What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and we are back even some more Troll to Troll, and today we're going to be talking about Crystal Gear. Now, a lot of this stuff is subject to change, uh, including, like, crafting recipes and stuff like that, uh, but this is the test server, so you gotta keep that in mind. That said, as of right now, I'm pretty sure that what's going on is the devs are taking minor feedback because they want to try and get this update out to us as soon as possible so it might be that a lot of these mechanics will end up staying the same if they end up changing of course i'll make an updated tutorial on this but crystal gear has changed a lot since the last time the devs ended up talking about it and uh today we're gonna end up running through that so first of all where do you end up getting crystal gear so crystal gear is going to be available in u8 geode top side they call it so let's just call it top side never mind the geode they don't call it geode surface anymore but it's just called geode top side all right uh, except it says geode surface over here but ignore that so there's going to be u8 u9 and u10 each of them is going to end up taking different power rank 15,000 power rank is for u10 so when you end up going to u8 just because if you end up having 5,000 PR, you're going to be able to get this really quick. Uh, you're going to notice that you spawn at an outpost. So these dudes are going to give you a couple different quests. And I, I mean, we'll kind of talk about the geode area in another video. Because for today, we're going to be checking out the Sunseekers Crystal Forge. Now, remember originally when the devs ended up showing this up, everyone was kind of hyped about it, but also kind of disappointed at the same time that you were going to be able to buy crystal gear for 10 flux. Well, that has since changed. And now you're able to craft only the weapon for these resources and these resources are exclusive to top side so it, they're pretty easy to get honestly speaking and depending on whether or not like it, it seems like they'll end up patching this for sure you can actually uh craft the weapons and then when you loot collect it you're going to end up getting some fragments and on top of it you're going to get quite a bit of cosmic gem dust but uh, we'll talk about that in another video i'm just saying that more than likely that's going to be patched because this is super duper easy to get now here's the thing crystal gear that you end up crafting is going to always generate with jump as one of the stats which is perfectly fine as you end up getting to top side because this area requires a lot of jump like all of the dungeons are really really tall they've got a lot going on for them and you just generally need a lot of jump to kind of navigate the area uh, i mean this one's kind of a cave so you gotta go all the way down in deep into it and stuff like that but either way so where do you actually end up getting the stellar or not stellar the crystal face and the crystal hat you ask it's a drop so i don't know if this is because of the feedback that we all had you know kind of i mentioned and teased in my videos how if crystal gear is worth 10 flux technically it makes dragons useless because magic find is useless which in my eyes was a bit you know lackluster but was also kind of exciting because it meant that new players would have the opportunity of getting this crystal gear right away now the crystal gear is a little bit more complicated than just going around and getting all of the crystal gear uh from all these dungeons and stuff because the way that it works is similar to shadow gear uh there's actually going to be different levels of crystal gear so you can see we've got a crystal two a crystal level two bow and this has got no stats into it as opposed to this which is a crystal one bow okay so you can see it on the name uh that's kind of how you keep track of it this is a crystal hat three so we'll kind of keep that in mind uh and the way that it works is when you're in geode uh u8 surface uh you're going to be able to get just crystal one just crystal one gear all right and crystal one gear is going to end up having very close to if not a little bit over your stellar gears default stats at a maxed out stellar gear however the power rank is going to be much lower you're gonna have to actually level up that crystal gear quite a bit before you end up actually topping your uh stellar gear as far as the uh you know not only a little bit of stats but the power rank is concerned you're gonna end up getting like 2000 or not 2000 200 more power rank off of a crystal one uh and then maybe 300 off of a crystal three because they only go up to crystal three okay so keep that in mind uh obviously it matters because u8 you can end up getting the crystal ones uh u9 you can end up getting crystal ones and rarely crystal twos and then in u10 that's the only place you can end up getting crystal threes so kind of kind of makes it pretty crazy for end gamers like myself I, you know i've been farming it for a couple hours uh to try and get this that said i don't actually have uh magic find rocking because i don't have patron and i don't have my club fixtures and stuff like that now that said uh the crystal one gear as far as i can tell that is just not affected by magic find 
uh they wanted to make it like super duper easy to end up getting and actually before we end up hopping in this world just to give you guys a little bit of a perspective okay it's been really really difficult for me to not only get a crystal three but also one that has the right stats so we'll talk about that in a bit but you can see that uh where is it where is it where is it let me just get rid of uh there we go so i crystal gear is pretty common like you can get it like pretty okay i don't know what's going on there but either way there, that's a lot of crystal gear it seems like it hasn't been keeping track of everything maybe i got to the 24 hour reset of uh the gear that i was farming and stuff either way it's it's not gonna be that big of a deal to actually get it however as of right now on the test server we've got a big big problem i was farming for like three to four hours on my vanguard before i ended up swapping off and realizing that you can't get crystal gear as a drop on the vanguard so this might end up affecting other classes honestly i haven't tested it because i don't main that many characters in the game but as soon as i swapped over to shadow hunter i was getting crystal gear left and right like you get it fairly commonly now for certain characters the crystal gear you're farming for is going to be that much more difficult to actually end up getting and one thing i want to point out is that uh, as far as just dungeons and everything like that even normal enemies in top side are going to end up dropping gear although not a guaranteed drop of gear and these guys can end up even dropping crystal so it pays when you end up going to a five-star dungeon to actually destroy and kill all of the enemies around when there's like a big group of them and everything like that it's really really laggy right now perfect timing i'm trying to actually record stuff uh but we'll just hop into this dungeon just so i can kind of show you guys give a little bit of an example so you go into the dungeon uh and then you know you'll try and fight the normal enemies uh, as much as you can anyways but it's way too laggy because this game is ogles uh, and then otherwise the boss itself is going to end up dropping and the chest is going to end up having a chance of dropping as well so you gotta keep all that in mind because the patch notes oddly enough uh they only mention i don't want to do that five star that one's disgusting uh they mention that you can get the crystal gear out of dungeon chess they don't say specifically out of dungeon chess not exclusive but people for some reason you know started saying and spreading the speculation saying that oh you can actually only get it from dungeon chests and stuff and it's like no you can get it from anywhere we've tested it uh we've gotten the gear off of just normal enemies and stuff and uh just to keep in mind in the settings tab of miscellaneous you can set it up to shadow and up and you will still be able to actually pick up uh the crystal gear now one thing to keep in mind which hopefully is going to change before we end up getting to the live server is that the crystal gear itself doesn't actually have any video effects or anything like that there's no indicator that crystal gear has even dropped there's there's nothing around it so pretty much you just have to like pick up everything around you all the time in the hopes that you can end up actually finding and I'm, I'm trying to see if we can hopefully end up actually just finding a quick little drop right here before i talk about the actual stats on the crystal gear but uh maybe we won't and if we don't get out uh, of this chest that's okay we'll end up hopping back to the club world so i can talk to you guys about the stat values and stuff like that so we've got no nothing so you see how there's red and there's orange right there crystal would basically have no video effects it would just be the weapon itself just kind of rotating slowly so anyways um the stats themselves are also a little bit weird as of right now anyways we can't get armor as a stat on uh the crystal gear you can only get light and let me tell you this is the most stupid thing that i've ever like seen like it's so confusing because if we go to our stats and we check our light uh, which I've, I'm rocking 3,637, which is pretty crazy. But used to overcome darkness is the description of this stat. No, that's not what it actually does. Light is armor penetration. They just renamed it for some stupid reason. And the darkness stat, which is armor, they just renamed to darkness for some dumb reason. Darkness is supposed to be applied to any of the top side enemies and light that you end up gaining on your crystal gear and your cosmic gems is supposed to break through that defense. So the more light you have, the more it lowers their defensive value, the more it lets your natural damage end up seeping through their shield. But as of right now, I honestly can't tell whether or not we're just super duper powerful on the test server. So it doesn't matter and light is a useless stat, but everybody keeps saying that light is, uh, and the armor stat are just broken right now so it could be that when this ends up going to the live server it'll be way more difficult to end up actually handling u10 because you saw right there like we can just handle it as a walk in the park and if you're strong enough you can actually get through five star dungeons just no problem yourself right 
So as you end up uh, loot collecting the crystal gear, uh, as I mentioned, you're not only going to end up getting uh, the gem dust itself, but you can see we're getting some weird forge fragment, right? So these forge fragments you can end up getting, uh, I think you can get it from dungeons in the top side, but you can also end up getting it from ore as well, oddly enough. Uh, I don't know why, but ore seems to generally drop a lot of different things that you end up actually needing for uh, crystal and everything. So as you end up getting that uh, one item, you'll pretty much end up using it to forge up your gear. So uh, the different gear itself, like I got crystal two hat because I haven't found a crystal three that actually has the stats that I need because we're on the shadow hunter so what i actually need as far as the stat is concerned is i need that third stat to end up generating as movement speed or crit damage because you cannot re-roll the light stat and you can't re-roll the third stat so basically think of it this way you know how normal trove gear works where you it's kind of an a b a b as far as re-rolling is concerned so you can only re-roll the two second stats and the crit damage on our weapon can end up being in the fourth slot and you know while the movement speed could end up generating in the second slot for example so let's just say for argument's sake that you just squeeze light in between the first and second stat so the third stat on crystal gear still technically is the second stat and to kind of get this point across as well, when we end up having the second stat reroll event show up, we should be able to reroll the third stat on crystal gear. I know it sounds a little bit more confusing than you would think, but it's, it's fairly, fairly simple, like seriously. So as far as forging all of these up is concerned, I actually have a couple different numbers. Thankfully, I was able to get really, really lucky and get a perfect crystalline bow that has movement speed, uh, second stat, right? Soft second stat, whatever you would want to call that. Uh, but this is going to end up costing forge fragments, uh, nitro glitterin, we just call it nitro, uh, and then crystalline cores. So crystalline cores, you're going to get by completing five-star dungeons. Uh, by completing five-star dungeons, you're going to get the lesser geode topside cache equivalent of this. This is going to be an item that you can get out of uh, the geode quest line that is going to end up going on for a little bit. You'll be able to just get three of these when this ends up going live. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy the greater caches out of the store, and they can end up having a bunch of topside items as well. So I'm saving these so I can end up opening them in the patch notes video uh, when I talk about the PTS patch notes and stuff. But there's going to be a lesser gem box or, or lesser top side cash equivalent of this. And what it's going to drop is it's going to drop that coin that you need for forging up the gear, uh, the crystalline core. But it can also end up dropping gem augmenting items, gem re-rolling items, and it can also end up dropping radiant pancakes. So technically speaking, those boxes are rng yes but it's a way that free-to-play players are not time gated into grinding the radiant pancakes which you could trade for empowered gem boxes so you could get more uh, empowered cosmic gems and then the augmenting items and the re-rollers and stuff like that which we'll talk about the gems in another video because they're all together quite different and going to end up being a lot more complicated than the crystal gear itself so as far as the crystal three is concerned just to kind of put this in perspective it's going to cost you uh 850 nitro it, this is from like zero to all the way up. So Nitro is a pretty difficult resource to get on the test server right now, but it is going to be tradable on the live server. And then this resource is just super easy to get, thankfully. Uh, but the Nitro is going to be a big, big problem day one. I think it's actually going to be a really good way of free to play players making flux because you'll be able to sell the Nitro for a lot. Because you got to think that it's going to cost 850 Nitro per piece of gear and you're having three on each character especially if you end up getting lucky enough in the first place to end up getting uh, crystal three with all the stats that you need. Now, because we're shadow hunter, we don't want like attack speed uh, as the uh, third stat right here. That's why this hat is absolutely useless for me. I might still go for it just for the sake of getting, I, I don't know, like just to see what the max PR is or something for another video, but we'll see. So 850 nitro, 180 of these coins, and that's uh, time consuming, but thankfully nothing's time gated. Uh, and then it'll cost 100 fragments. So pretty expensive overall. Like I say that these fragments are easy to get, but honestly speaking, if I had the nitro, if I had the coins, uh, and if I had enough crystal gear that I was actually leveling it uh, regularly, we would blow through 300 of these fragments just by leveling three different sets, uh, three different pieces of uh, crystal three gear. So 
uh, the gem, uh, the crystal cores again, you're going to end up getting those from five star dungeons. And the way that the five star dungeons work, I'll just give you a quick rundown of this is you have to complete the five star dungeon before your counter reaches uh, the one minute mark. So anything under the one minute mark, you're going to end up getting two of those lesser caches. But if you can end up completing the dungeon in its entirety uh, before that one minute mark, you'll actually be able to get four lesser caches. So it's kind of like doubling your odds, right? So let me actually see. Oh, there's a five star dungeon right over there. Give me a sec. Now, five star dungeons, some of them can generate really badly. Some of them can end up being pretty easy. This one's a pretty good one just because you can visually see a lot of it. Um, but, uh, you know, for starting players, this is going to be really, really difficult to do these because essentially what a five star dungeon is, is just five dungeons all packed into one. So here's the dark art. You activate this, your timer starts, you got three minutes and we got to basically go around completing each of the different objectives. So I'm going to kind of fast forward through this. So you can see right there that we're well above, you know, we're like 40 seconds above actually having it completed within that uh, time limit. And we're going to end up getting four of these topside caches, uh, which uh, is going to end up giving us the crystalline cores. So once again, it's kind of a thing that you guys just grind out uh, and then we've got to actually find for the nitro uh, we got to go to there's three different color variants on the map as you can see there's a dark red light red and then there's kind of a medium red so we're going to be heading over to the medium uh, red color so that we can end up finding hopefully a cave that's going to end up generating so in the medium red you're going to see this generate and this is Viridian. You're gonna be using that for a bunch of other crafting stuff. It's one of two new resources. And then there's going to be the Nitro, which is gonna be this pink stuff right here. And the reason why the Nitro absolutely sucks to get is because unfortunately, I, I don't know if this is a bug or if it was intentional. There's only ever like one to two of them beside each other. Like uh, more often than not, you'll just like get like two at a time and it's really really disgusting It's really really slow. It eats up your bombs So I would honestly recommend you either If you have the flux to actually buy the bombs go for it But otherwise use your turtle tank with the night subclass ability or something so that you actually get the uh, Movement speed or uh, another thing you can do is just kind of farm it with friends uh, Again, though, that's the thing is I can't really say how balanced it is because we're on the test server So everything is like extremely broken and overpriced because everybody dupes flux and just puts these up items up like just as a joke value and it's like I don't know. So when it ends up going to the live server, we'll have a much better understanding of it. Honestly, I think give it a couple weeks and Nitro will be pretty, uh, you know, pretty common. But the fact of the matter is that you're going to be using the crystal or using the Nitro to level up your crystal gear, which does technically mean that it's going to be a very coveted resource for quite a while, especially for an end gamer like myself, because I, I want to have crystal three potentially on every character, but that's going to be a very long haul, right? So for the most part, I would actually recommend that most of you average players just go for the starting crystal gear because it honestly doesn't make that much of a difference stat wise. I mean, it kind of does, but not much. Like you can see, this is a maxed out crystal one bow, which ended up generating with good stats. And you can see compared to my uh, crystal three bow that has no stats in it, we're doing 195 physical more. Uh, a lot more light stat so that's where the crystal three might be way more important when it goes to the live server or depending if they end up patching this because uh, again the light stat is absolutely useless right now so i don't know how it scales i can't determine that but as far as just the base stat values that you end up actually getting from a crystal one to a crystal three it makes a slight difference but it's not going to matter that much in the long run the big reason why a freak like me wants to end up getting myself crystal three is because those extra stats sure but more importantly you can see uh, a maxed out crystal one is going to give us 1251 pr whereas a maxed out crystal three is going to give us 1323 so that's like 100 more so anyways that was a bit of a longer video than i thought it was but hopefully that's going to be the definitive crystal gear explanation for you guys you can see this is actually the crystal bow style the crystal face style and the crystal helmet style uh, the face and helmet are just going to end up being the two, while there is going to end up being the different weapon styles. And some of them are actually really, really cool, while some of them are kind of gross. But either way, I love the crystal stuff. I just wish that we actually had some crystal themed armor to go with it, because otherwise it's a little bit out of place. Either way, I actually really like the changes that they made to it. Uh, I feel that, you know, because U10 and because this update is so focused on grinding and not time gating all of this stuff, that's where I definitely approve of it. 
even though you could just sit there and say that technically it's just the same content that we've already experienced with trove honestly more grinding is never really a bad thing especially when it's just normal old farming and we can just grind the new area to end up getting all this stuff the funny thing is you know I'm sitting here saying how difficult it is to get a crystal three. I don't have my magic find that I would have on the live server. And uh, to top that off, the nitro that we would be able to buy from people. And I'm only missing one piece uh, of the uh, crystal hat. So I I'm going to try and hopefully over the next week or two, depending how long the test server is on, I want to get full uh, crystal three so that I can show you guys what a maxed out character looks like and stuff like that. Right. So either case. Thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you all think about the crystal gear. I think it's great. Keep in mind, you don't really have to have any magic find in order to end up getting the crystal ones. So it's going to be very, very accessible for most of you guys. And I like the idea that you have to grind it rather than just buy it for flux. That, that's me, though. Let, let me know what you guys think. But if you want to go the extra mile of supporting me, you can always sponsor the YouTube channel with that join button down below. Buy some of the real life merch, which is in the description. Or check out the link down below to Gawkbox, which is a way that you can donate to me for absolutely free. Sign Aura and stay epic, everybody.